Welcome friends, so today I will show you how to open a Scala in IntelliJ. Okay, so I have opened up this IntelliJ uh, software in Windows 10. Okay, and uh, this is a, a Windows screen, uh, an opening screen of the IntelliJ. And now, uh, if you want to open up the Scala in the IntelliJ, so you need to do a few things. First, uh, you need to go to the settings. Uh, for your information, this IntelliJ uh, version is uh, 2023.1 okay so in this new uh, in IntelliJ you need to go to uh, the right hand side section uh, of this uh, IntelliJ you can see the setting option is there alright so here in this uh, setting options you need to uh, click on this plugins Okay, so basically you need to install the two plugins uh, in IntelliJ. One is a Scala and second is SBT. Okay, both uh, plugins are very much important to install in, in IntelliJ. So I have uh, clicked on the settings and um, it is taking little bit uh, time to getting it open because of uh, so many uh, software loads in the system. Okay, so here it will be uh, redirected to the plugins. So in this plugins, you need to type a Scala. Okay, so I have already installed this Scala, so I will not install it again. Okay, one is a Scala and second is SVT. Okay, what you need to do? Just you need to install here Scala. Okay, then next is SBT. Okay, SBT Scala Build Tool. So uh, this is the second uh, thing SPT. This plugin you need to install. Once you install this both plugin and just uh, restart the ID. All right. So I assume you have already installed it. Then next thing is you need to uh, create the new project. So it is very important that if you want to install, uh, if you want to start Scala, you need to create a new project and new project folder okay so i will click on this new project so it will ask me the name of this project and where i want to save it. so once you install this uh, intellij okay and uh, scala then it will ask me to uh, create give the name of this project so in this case i just want to mention you that i assume that you have already installed java 1.8 version okay if it is not installed please do install 1.8 version okay so uh, in this uh, lab pro name of this project i will say final scala project okay i will uh, give a name final scala project and location i have given it to the c drive now in language i have selected scala Okay, so in built system, there will be two options IntelliJ and SPD. I assume that you have installed Scala and SPD plugins. Okay, and second is a JDQ. Okay, so in this case, I have installed two versions uh, Java 20 and Java 1.8. I request you to install Java 1.8. Okay, because it is uh, quite popular and it basically supports all the legacy systems. Now, second is SVT and download sources. Okay, so if you want to install this, this is this will also be good. There will not be any issues. And the, the basic version will be here Scala 2.13.10. Okay, however, you can uh, put it as a latest version of Scala 3.2.2.2. But uh, it is recommended if you select this 2.13, so it will support all these legacy systems. Okay, then simply what you need to do, just hit the create button. Okay, so this will take a few minutes to get it ready. So once the Scala project is done, there will be uh, some indexing process which will be started. Okay, so make sure you wait for some uh, moments and uh, follow the path so here I have created the new folder new project called uh, final Scala project so in the left hand side panel you can see the different uh, folder name are there and 
here it has asked me microsoft defender configuration so i'll say automatic so basically if in your uh, microsoft uh, windows defender this uh, scala will try to open up automatically so windows defender will ask you to allow this system or not we will say just allow it so here it is importing some settings okay uh, what are the settings settings are like the, some spt files then indexing and microsoft defender configuration not to worry just wait for a while okay and just uh, try to install uh, try to allow this process to be completed all right okay so uh, next is uh, i will wait till uh, it is getting it done because indexing is very much important okay so almost uh, my work has been done um, okay so it will uh, it will be over in uh, another few minutes so usually it takes uh, 5 minutes okay 2 to 5 minutes in some cases it may also take some more time okay so now i will see whether my src source file is created or not here i can see uh, the index scanning is being happened so okay it is getting processed so basically what it do it usually uh, get the index from svt plugin which we already installed it. now it has been set correctly now what is our next target our next thing is under this uh, src folder there would be two folder called main and test okay so in this main there would be scala okay so what you need to do just click on scala and do the right click and go to the package so i will create the demo package so i will do i will uh, just uh, say demo okay so in this demo package i will create a simple scala class okay so i will create a scala class and in this case i will create a simple object name would be demo for your simplicity okay do you want to add uh, this uh, following part to git okay yes git so this is basically a uh, scala object okay now what i will do uh, i will create one function for diff, diff main args array string okay it, this is nothing but the uh, java class okay now what i will do i uh, will uh, print ln line okay and i will give you hello world okay so it will uh, give me the hello world now i have created one package and in this package one demo object has been created called hello world now i want to do the print so you can do right click and run demo if it is showing me the output as a hello world this one that means my scala is correctly configured and it is working correctly in intellij 2023.1 version okay so now it is taking some time to uh, get it done it will take in the beginning of this project it is just trying to compile and then give the output okay so just wait for a couple of uh, minutes since it is a first project so it is taking some time in getting it done yeah so now java virtual machine got ex successfully executed and here my output is hello world hooray so that means we have successfully installed uh, a scala package and we have successfully run scala object in intellij thank you for watching this video if you have any queries feel free to ask in the comment section